Right. We do not have anyone in the waiting room, just so people know. Is is Fred or Kristen the other voting member? Oh. Kristen seems to have gone. Yeah. Um, let me ask her who, who is voting on this, Roger. We have not decided. We're okay. Not voting. But, you know, I lost my connection entirely when that when Chelsea said goodbye. I don't yes, know. because she had not returned host to me. Oh, okay. So she ended the meeting for us all. So I had to go back out and come back in and be a host and host it again. So maybe yeah, that's what you do the same thing. Maybe that's <laughs> yes. what happened to Kristen. So we lost Kristen if she was on before. Well, I can email her and tell her to rejoin. Um, it doesn't matter to me. If she was on before, that's fine with me. If she wants to be voting. I'm, I'm just letting her know. Please. Well, what's our scheduled start time for the next hearing? It was supposed to be 7.15. Okay. So you could okay. if you want. Any response from her, Deborah? Uh, no. I asked her to please log back in, but, oh, now she says, I thought we were done. <laughs> was she part of these earlier? Yes. Yes, she was. Okay. Okay, I'm just letting her know. I don't know if it helps and I don't know if anyone here can hear me, but she doesn't need to be um, in the meeting or in the hearing for us. Uh, it's our intention to withdraw our application for the flag lot based on um, uh, we're pretty confident you guys are going to vote tonight. So we'll, we'll go another avenue and, and uh, there's no, re no reason to be voting on it tonight. Oh, well, that's... Um... 
news to hear, certainly. I did try to reach Bob Spencer today. He and I missed each other, so maybe he was going to tell me the same thing. But in any event, Harlan's correct. We don't need a five-person board to allow someone to withdraw. So um, our custom is uh, a simple email or you know, a sentence letter that says that, although even if it's, if it's being recorded, maybe that's sufficient. What do you think, um, Deborah, as a co-chair? I I would think that it would be. Yeah. I mean, we are, but but yeah, I would think so. Okay, so there's a record. There's a video and oral record. Mary, you're taking the notes, right? Yes. All right. So the the petitioner through Harlan Bean, now, of course, Mr. Bean, the, your daughter's the uh, her daughter in law is the the petitioner, but I th you have authority to speak for her, right? I'm the landowner. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, then um, the petition is withdrawn without prejudice. Um, and the uh, proceedings can be concluded. We, we thank you, everybody, for your time. And um, we have some minutes to review that don't involve the public. But I appreciate all the time and effort you put into it. And obviously wish everybody good luck. OK, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Harlan. All right. Well, so that is the um, last item on the agenda. Uh, Deborah had a good suggestion that we renew everybody's uh, um, telephone numbers for the purposes of our own record keeping. Um, just in case we have to get in touch with each other, email is sometimes a little dicey. Um, and so... Um, I don't know what we need to do that uh, in public, but but we should, how about this? Why don't we all email Mary with our best okay. phone numbers? Okay. And then Mary, if you could email at least Deborah and me back with your phone number. Will do. That was a part of the start of the conversation. How do we reach Mary? And, um, and, and neither of us had your phone number. So that'll take care of that little piece of business. And By the then, way, I thought that Chelsea was really a re remarkably good presentation one of the yes. one of the the most thought out ones that I've ever sat through. Well, maybe we could make her well, a, maybe I, make her a coach for other uh, would be mentors. Yes. <laughs> yes. Add that to her resume, ZBA coach. Okay, so Kristen is going to log back in, but she's also letting us know that she has COVID and is not feeling well. Well, let her go. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, let me, I'm going to say that. No. Oh, this group is really on a roll. Health I know. I know. No worries. I'm the healthiest one here. And that's not good. For, that's not a good. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to speak for you, Bob. Um, oh, no, I'm not healthy. No, poor Bob. He's got a, he's got a trouble. Okay. I know. <laughs> All right. I reviewed the October minutes that Mary sent, and I had no changes to them. Deborah wasn't there. I was not there. Bob I or Fred, okay. did you have a I was okay with them. Okay. But I make a motion to approve the October minutes. Second. Good. And yeah. I, 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 um, I'll talk with you about this too, Roger, but it's time to look at the budget for next year. And oh, yeah. so, Mary, are you anticipating any any expenses? Can I ask for level funding? I guess. I mean, I <laughs> the only thing that seems to change is sometimes we have a rush of extra meetings. And a lot of the yeah. time we have meetings with, you know, months with no meetings. And I don't see anything predictable about any of that. <laughs> Okay, um, I um, but in terms of like um, postage and copying, and did the town end up taking that back? Well, what I'm doing now is giving them receipts. We went back to that. We went um, back to that. Okay, so well, you know what I'll do, Mary. I'm I'm going to look at. But it 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 has, of course it's always more for the zoning board than right than for planning board. But I mean, it hasn't been any unusual amount of mailings that I can this year seems 
kind of typical to me. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I'm going to look at the budget in the in the next couple of days, and I may have questions for you and also maybe for Roger. So so that's why the phone number business is going to be imperative. And okay. I, think, I think it'd be good too for us to send our cell phones, those of us who text too. <clears throat> so landlines, cell phones, you know, so we can reach each other if we need to. <laughs> Um, okay. I, I have a question, I guess, for Roger. Uh, you shared with us earlier today the uh, opinion, I guess, from our chief counsel. Yes. Uh, is that part of the, the record for this uh, uh, hearing here, or is that not the record? And, and where is that? Is that stored somewhere else for our future use? Those what happens all, with that? Those are all very good questions, Fred. So, um, Dave Donesky, the, the counsel, he copied Brian. And so I understand that anything that's sent to Brian becomes a public record. So, at a minimum, Brian would have it. But I think it should be part of our record. And so, Mary, you, did you get a copy? I, I sent it to you. It, a I was writing something else. We're talking about the town council letter? Correct. Yes, I got a copy of that. So however you keep our records, that should be part of this, okay. this hearing record because <clears throat> it, was, it was the key um, component to the petitioner withdrawing the application. And Bob, you saw that he answered your question there at the yes. end. Yeah. I mean, that that was always my my thought about a, a flag lot is a, you get one shot because you didn't quite have enough. Right. Because if if indeed you could do what was proposed, someone who had frontage that was a mile long could could put in and then a flag lot I, yeah that's not really what it was what i always thought a flag lot was for no you're right yeah well, the, the <laughs> other option would be to do the flag lot first and then subdivide the remaining frontage wouldn't you do it that way i think there was a sequencing problem there and um I mean, not not. I understand what they did in in this case, but but talking in general, according to like what points to Bob's question, couldn't you do a flag lot first and then a remaining property decide divide it up into building lots? I don't. I, I, I think, think that either. I don't think that you can. A flag lot is only meant if you can't get two full lots out of your property. I believe. That's right. It's the bottom line. And if you can, you're done. Okay. Right. Because he says there, I highlighted it in this the third one. One law. However, the zoning board does not specify or establish a right to the creation of a particular number of lots from a single single parcel. Rather, it addresses the situation where one lot does not have sufficient area and frontage to create a second lot that okay. will comply with the zoning bylaw so it's in that situation where you can't create a full second lot you get a you get a discount and you right. throw a, a flag lot there so would the, these practitioners here did they see the council opinion did they what did oh. they see our town council's opinion oh yeah 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 because they they have uh, that attorney bob spencer showed up who last hearing so who i know and bob submitted his position paper that i transmitted to David Donetsky. And so David considered both of those. And then I, as soon as I emailed our board members, I next emailed Bob Spencer. And then about 2.30, he called my office and asked to speak to me, but I wasn't there. And then I came in and I called him and he was tied up. So we never actually spoke. But but yeah, obviously Spencer shared it with Harlan. Kristen, I'm so sorry you came back. We didn't need you after all. <laughs> you must not have seen my email. I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not doing well. Um, all right, yeah, I'm sorry. I I and and then my computer wasn't working. I, I shut it all down after the last one. No, so, no worries. The um we the beans withdrew. Yes, yes, we knew that was going that way. Okay. Okay. Rest up. Be well. Take care, Kristen. All right. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Good night, Kristen.
Okay. Anything in January on the horizon, Mary? I haven't received anything. All right. Well, in any event, we'll see you next year, everybody. Yes. Okay. Yes. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Let's hope it gets better for us all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one correction to the minutes. When you get to the November minutes, I misspoke and said that at least I was on the board in 1988, but I I wasn't. I reviewed it afterwards. I, I think maybe late 89 I came on the board. It doesn't really matter, but just a point of order. Back in the better. Mesozoic era. <laughs> yeah. I've been on longer than Roger, but not No. Well, when did you come on? I came on when Bob Cook was chair. I came on when Bob Cook was chair. Well, so did I. But oh, okay. as to right. exactly when. I don't I don't even remember. No. All I remember is Charlie Olanik was chairman of the board of selectmen. Oh my gosh. No, we yeah. are in the prehistoric era. Yes, we are. That's a long, <laughs> <laughs> long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember I I mean I moved to Whaley in eighty eight, so I didn't do it that first half it was a half year. And then I remember Karen coming to the board with me once when she was pregnant. So she was pregnant in 91. So somewhere between, I think, 89 and 91, I got on the board. But I was guessing 89. But I know it wasn't 88. So I'm wiping my hands clean of anything the board did in 88. <laughs> <laughs> OK, are we, are we adjourned? Good, Good night, everyone. All right, baby. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.